Hi, and welcome to my tutorial of how to make a dungeon crawler game. Uh, as you can see, I've started out by implementing all the libraries that I've been needing for uh, my program. And as always, uh, or at least as last time I put up a video, I was using the namespace std, which means the standard library. Um, and before I even get to my main uh, function, I've made some structures, um, meaning that I've made a um, holding place for different variables. As you can see, I have both integers and I have characters. Um, and this is for my hero of the game. I also have um, my enemy, which has uh, health, damage, and the pos uh, position of the enemy. We will come back to both hero and enemy soon enough. Once we run the program, the main function will start, uh, and it will start up by, by printing a quick um, introduction to what the program or rather the uh, dungeon is about um, or just to make you feel like you're actually in a game um, so I've just written that you just woke up and you find yourself trapped in a dangerous demonic dungeon and this uh, backslash n means that um, it will shift the line You'll soon, uh, soon enough see what I, uh, why I put it there. Um, you have to escape. Can you find your way out and end line to skip a line? Then I have a variable called hero win, um, which is a boolean, which can only be false or true. And I start off by saying you haven't won anything. Uh, we'll be using this further on. Um, here I have my actual maze, a 2D dimensional um, array, which I have just said that uh, the zeros is where there's nothing, and the ones is where the wall is. Two, three, and four um, is obstacles, or rather the fourth is um, your trophy. Two and three are two different um, enemies. As you can see, we come back to my structures uh, from up in the beginning uh, and I call my hero Jones, like in Indiana Jones, just to make it fun. Uh, and I gave him 100 health in total. Uh, and because uh, I say dot health, I can go up to my structure and see, oh, it's the health of my hero I set. And then the position of my um, hero, which is down here in the maze. So you have to go all the way through the maze before you get to the trophy. And his damage, which is um, random. Um, then I have two enemies, the hitter and the smacker. And again, we have the health also from the structure of the enemy, uh, which hits from, uh, uh, or rather, they have uh, the hitter has uh, twenty health and the smacker has twenty five, and they have two different. Um, positions in the array. Uh, it has to be said that this, um, the first uh, one of these numbers is the 0, 0.0, 0 uh, coordinates for uh, the maze. And down here we have 1939 uh, because of the 0, 0. So we have to extract one from uh, either of them uh, to get the position of the uh, lowest corner. 
just so you knew. Um, and yeah, we had the position of them, um, and we have the damage of uh, both of them to see. You'll see once we run the program how it works. Then we have the um, we have another variable called char, uh, which is a character, and it's called key. And as long as uh, as it's not um, equals to q, we'll run everything within. And here here I say that if the true uh, if the hero win is equals to true, you have to run a for loop. Uh, the for fall loop will run on until um, the this um, what's it called um, until this is fulfilled. Uh, I can't remember what it's called exactly. Um, and then within that for loop, we have another for loop um, which does exactly the same. Uh, just where x is going to 40 instead. Then we are checking if um, x is um, the same as uh, Jones's x and his y is, uh, or if the y is equals to Jones's y as well. If then, then we should uh, put in a. Um, character with the number 2 and if we go to the ASCII we will see that uh, the character 2 within uh, the ASCII is actually a smiley and you'll see once we run the program uh, how it actually looks everywhere where 1 was uh, would be our wall as you can see we have a lot of 1's all over the maze um, and this means that the square, um, no, not the square brackets, um, the hashtag is our wall. The zeros is just empty. Um, the M is the first um, kind of enemy we have, and the S is the second um, enemy we have. M is our hitter and S is our smacker. And in the end we have T which is our um, trophy. That's call it, let's call it that. And it has to, um, every time this runs, it just has to put hero win to false such that we can check it again. Then we have to uh, move our character, but first we needed uh, to see all his um, stats. And here we have Jones's damage, uh, which will be printed. His health will be printed. How you walk, um, and just something to make it fun uh, for the users to see. Then I've written your move, punk. And then we have the CN uh, to tell the variable up here, the character key, that if S is pressed, uh, you have to move down in the maze. Um, the Y plus uh, plus is uh, one per click. Um, and since up here in the maze, that this is zero zero then if we add we go down through the maze and if we oh too far uh, and if we subtract uh, subtract something we go up and the same goes for uh, the x if we press a we go left and we subtract from s uh, x and if we press D, we go to the uh, right. Um, yeah. Um, and here is our trophy. We are just checking if um, Jones hits anything 
which the uh, where the value is four. And as you can see up here, we have one four. And that means that is the finish line, your trophy, so to speak. And if you do, it removes the maze, right? You win the game. Good job. You are now fired. Thanks for your help. And it pauses, waiting for you to press another key. Uh, and if you press another key, it will exit the window, meaning that it closes the window for you. Then we have a string called fight or die, uh, just to have it called something. And here we check if Jones's X is uh, in the position one from the first enemy. If it is, it will print, uh, remove the entire maze, go into the fighting, where it says fight, uh, right fight to fight the enemy, or uh, right flee to run for your life and lose the game. It's your choice. Um, and if you decide to ride fight, you will hit um, the mob. It will print how much health the enemy has left. And if the enemy doesn't die f um, at first, this uh, this function will go in um, with the if if statement, and then your health will go down uh, as the hitter hits you. And then it will print your health, and it says, "Fight again, right? Fight again to hit it one more time." And if the hitter is still uh, alive, the hero win is false. But once you hit it hard enough, or hit enough times, and it goes below zero or at least to zero you'll get your um, mace back because hero win is true and it will go back to the for loops uh, further up here and print the mace once again uh, and it will print out enemy defeated continue and you go on um, if you re uh, choose to uh, write flee you'll have the same thing as if you win just that it says you lose the game sucker uh, and the system pauses waiting for you to press a key and closes the window once you press a key and then you come one uh, block or rather one pixel from uh, the second enemy and you can either again write fight or flee if you write fly, uh, fight, you'll do exactly the same as you did with the first one. Uh, and if you actually win, or you do win, um, it says enemy defeated, go get the treasure. You just have to run through the rest of the, um, the remaining uh, maze. And once you've uh, hit the trophy, you win the game. And let's try to run this program, shall we? Here we have my maze. As you can see, the smiley down here is you. And the hashtags is our maze, or rather it's our wall. And the zeros has become our maze. So let me go in and type a lot of W's and I have to press enter every time I want to move. As you can see it's updating, going left, up, right, right, down, 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 left, down, 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 left, left, down, 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 left, 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 up, 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 up. We are almost where you can see the fighting system. Okay, now I just need to move one more time to the left and I will go in combat with our first enemy. As you can see, here 
I have Jones's damage, which is 15, and his current health is 100. And you can see you have your W, A, S, and D uh, as your movement. And I press enter. The mace is removed, and you can fi um, ride fight or flee. Let's ride fight. And I spelled wrong. Like that. Fight. The enemy's health is now 15, uh, 5, because we hit it for 15. And your health is 92, because it hit you for 8. You ride fight once more. You win! Enemy defeated, continue. And we go more left. And we came into combat again. Oh no! Fight! You're now down to 87 and the mob is 10. And we ride fight again. Yay! You win! Go get the treasure! And we go. Down, 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 down. As you can see, once you hit a wall, it will just copy our entire ma uh, maze. Uh, but once we move again, it removes all the mazes. And... And if I press W now, I'll get the treasure. Worry, you win the game. Good job. You're fired now. Thanks uh, for your help. And it says, "Trick uh, point will call for uh, for a con uh, fort set, which means press a key to continue. And I'm pressing space. Worry. And the window closes for us. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below. And I'll see you soon enough again. Bye.